Okay, so I'm recording now, yeah. Recording now. Okay. So where is it? Okay. Now. Okay, so uh equilibrium of uniform rigid body, yeah. Uh so uh now we need to uh talk about a new quantity, yeah, you're going to learn. Which is what we call torque. Yeah. Torque, you see? Uh torque. It's a cross product between distance, uh between distance between line of action and axis of rotation. We call it the level arm. R and force F. So torque is R cross F. So definition of torque is tendency of a force to rotate object about an axis. A turning effect produced by a force. Uh, and this is the formula. Torque is RF sine theta. Uh, yeah, where F is a force applied, R is the distance. R is distance from where? From axis of rotation to the point of force. Uh, point of force. Yeah. So theta is the angle between them. So we use sine theta. Uh, and then the unit is Newton meter vector. Yeah. Uh, we have direction also clockwise, anti clockwise. Okay. So I want to relate start this this one, this talk to something you learned before. Huh? So which is um okay put here. Ah, do you still remember you learned about multiplication of vectors? Multiplication of vector, we have a dot product. Let me use. We have dot product. Okay. Uh, dot product. And we have a cross product. Uh, these are all multiplication. Multiplication of vectors. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, for dot product, you learn uh, there are two types of multiplication of vectors, lah. Dot product and cross product. And dot product you learn in chapter four. Yeah. About the work work done work energy theorem. Yeah. Uh, the work done so the work done is actually a dot product yeah we use f dot s uh, it's a dot product yeah dot product is also called a scalar product yeah it's also a it's called a scalar product because why because we get a the work done is a scalar quantity ah we get a scalar quantity and the formula for this F dot S become F S cos theta. Uh, now, now we're going to learn about the new quantity called the torque. Yeah, uh, the torque means T R T O R Q U E torque. Torque is a vector quantity. Yeah, we use R cross F. Uh, it. You must be R cross F, ah, tak boleh F cross R, ah. Uh, you, you you cannot write you cannot write it as F cross R. It is wrong, yeah. It is wrong. Uh, but but for dot product can for dot product you can write it uh, S dot F. Ini boleh, yeah. Ini boleh. But R cross F and F cross R is different. Uh, you cannot, yeah. Uh, I don't want to further elaborate, yeah, because this is all because of direction, yeah. Uh, it's not the same. F R cross F and F F cross R is different, yeah. But F dot S is the same as S dot F lah, yeah. These are some general knowledge only. Okay, so make sure you write the sequence correctly. It's R cross F, not F cross R, ah. And for the formula, this one is you turn out having uh F R sine theta. Uh, this one get F R sine theta. Okay, so. Uh, so do you know why this one using cos theta and uh for talk using sine theta? Do you know why? 
Ah, uh, so back to our back to work done. Talking about work done, how how do we measure the work done? Ah, uh, let's say you have you have this force. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you have this force. Yeah, you have this angle theta between F and S. Ah, uh, we always used to find the component. You know, got this F got two component. Ah, uh, it got the F cos theta here, and it got the F sin theta here. All right. So which component helps to you know move the object to the right? Follow the displacement S. Which force? Which component? Ah, uh, the ah uh, this component F cos theta, isn't it? Ah, uh, so the f sin theta is useless. Ah, uh, we ignore. Actually, we ignore the f sin theta. Is when force is perpendicular to displacement, the work done is zero. Remember that when the force is perpendicular. Ah, uh, so work done only maximum. Yeah, we only use the parallel component. We use the parallel component, which is the f cos theta. To multiply displacement, that's why our formula become f s cos theta using cos theta. Okay, ah, uh, this is if for work done lah. But if uh top, top, let's look at top ah. Uh. Ah, uh, so I draw the object for rotation. Let's say I have a long ruler. You know, I have a long ruler. So this is the axis of rotation. Axis of Rotation over here, yeah, at one end, yeah. That means uh, I put axis of rotation here. Now let's say I have um, force acting at the other end, yeah, F over here with angle theta, okay, and uh, the you know the distance between distance between the axis of rotation to the point of action point of force. Uh, it is what we call R. Uh, we call it this R is what we call what? The R is what we call the arm, or we call it the moment. Understand? Uh, it's actually just a distance. Distance from where to where? Distance from axis of rotation to the force. Uh, the distance, the distance between these two points, is what we call the R. Uh, it's the arm or moment. We call it moment or we call it arm. Okay. So um, that's the R here, lah. Yeah. So now this force also like like this one got two component. Yeah, got two component. Uh, it got the you know F cos theta. It also got what component? It also got the perpendicular component F sin theta. Yeah, it got the parallel component f cos theta parallel to the r it also get it got uh f sin theta perpendicular to the r uh, but but do, what do you think which component help to rotate the object help to rotate the object which component why plus component? Why? Me, huh? i cannot hear you which component help to why rotate the object component? huh sorry Y yeah. component. The Y component. So this one considered you F cos theta useless, isn't it? Uh, it is the F sine theta helps to you know rotate the whole thing, rotate rotate this object. Yeah. So after it rotate uh, that means uh, after that it becomes like this lah. Correct not? Uh, yeah. Uh, the the F the F sine theta helps to uh, rotate. Uh, rotate yeah it goes it goes what it goes anti-clockwise uh, it goes anti-clockwise it it turn it turn anti-clockwise anti-clockwise thanks for the thumbs up yeah okay actually uh i turn right okay so it turn anti-clockwise uh so uh, that's it lah. so so f sine theta is the component uh, we use to calculate the torque. That's why the formula become fr sin theta. Understand? 
as you I write again here, we use the perpendicular component uh, to multiply. So for cross product, remember, for cross product, we use the perpendicular component. For dot product, we use the parallel component. So that's why here is cos theta, here is sin theta. And one more thing, class. This uh, cross product is also called vector product. Ah, it's a vector product. Because why? Because the torque here is a vector quantity. It's a vector quantity. That's why here you see, uh, up here got an arrow. But the work done, uh, no arrow. Because work done is a scalar quantity, like energy. Uh, torque different. Torque is a vector. Yeah, you multiply you multiply these two vector the dis the distance uh, this distance here is a vector yeah a vector multiply by another vector force you get another vector uh, get a torque which is also a vector okay so cross product get a vector quantity that's why cross product is also called a vector product uh, dot product is a scalar product get the scalar quantity work done yeah that's the difference between these two yeah and uh in Okay, since torque is a vector, yeah, and so torque is a vector, let's talk about direction. Huh? So let's talk about direction. So torque is a vector, means it has direction. Uh, so for direction, we use we use what? Ah, we use the sign positive negative. Ah, okay. So if the torque is uh, uh, the torque is anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise, that is a positive torque, understand? Uh, if the torque is uh, clockwise, it is negative torque, uh, like this one, clockwise, it's a negative torque, understand? Uh, so like you see, like this example here, uh, this F sin theta will rotate this whole thing uh, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Uh, so this uh, the torque we calculate from this r multiplied f sin theta, which is the f r sin theta get the torque. Uh, so this torque here is uh, because it is anti clockwise, so you get a positive torque for this example. Uh, positive torque. But if let's say uh, class, if let's say uh, I have another example, let's say uh, let's say uh, my axis is here. Uh, if my force is uh at uh at let's say like I put my force here uh, I put my force here so uh so how to find find the component uh just make the component let's just make the component uh, yeah just make the component okay let's say um uh, I must find the angle you know angle uh, I must find this angle let's say I must find this theta here you know uh, so this is f cos theta uh, and then this must be f sine theta ah uh, so we do this one not useful we take this one uh, multiply by the r you know r here ah uh, so so this uh, this one is the this one will turn this object this f sine theta will turn this object clockwise ah uh, this one you get a negative torque Understand? Ah, uh, yeah. This one you get a negative torque. All right. So, um, this one is positive torque anti-clockwise. This one you get a pot negative torque because clockwise. Okay. So now, um, actually the theta is what I can say. Actually, the theta is over here, lah. Yeah, between. F and R, so actually the theta is here. But uh, if you want to calculate, then you um, how to say uh, you have to find this angle lah. Uh, this angle over here easier, yeah. Uh, find the small angle easier to for you to find the component. Find the small angle. Yeah, maybe put this as uh, phi. Yeah, so uh, use the small angle lah easier lah. Yeah, use the small angle, cos the phi. This one sine the phi easier. Yeah. Big angle also can, yeah? uh, but we try to find the small angle, use 180 degree, 180 minus the theta. Find the small angle. Once we got a small angle, we can find the component, uh, get the, you know, 
perpendicular component to multiply the R. Uh, so we can get the top. The top is uh, the F sine, yeah, uh, this one multiplied by R. That's it. Okay, just get the perpendicular component of the force. Okay, so now uh, one more thing, uh, class. Between, um, yeah, between this uh, force, uh, in uh, linear motion, you learn about force, force, uh, which is F, okay, uh, force, unit there is Newton, okay, Newton, uh, and then uh, now rotational motion, you learn about torque. Okay, torque, uh, which is uh, this one. This unit is Newton meter. Uh, for torque is Newton meter. Uh, later I will explain what, uh, why is it Newton meter. Uh, because it's force time R. So it's Newton times meter lah. Yeah. So okay. So there's a you know this is a force is what force is a um, force to make something uh, or we can say to push something to move uh, you know to move uh, to move uh, in linear motion lah. Uh, linear motion that means uh, that means um, we can uh, you know draw the because it's a vector, huh? this force and this torque, they are vector. Uh, so if they are vector, means they have direction. So force, uh, force means you have uh, going, going to the right is a positive force, you know, positive force. Going to the left, negative force. Going upward, positive force. Going downward, negative force. So torque, what is torque? Torque is like force, you know. But it's force uh, to rotate something. Ah, force to rotate something. Just now, this one, uh, for the force that we learn in linear motion is to push something to move in to the to the right, to the left, going up and going down. Uh, but for torque is also a force, but force to rotate something. Uh, rotate the fan, rotate the car tire. You know, rotate the 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 what the blade in the hair dryer. You know, rotate the motor. Uh, it's a torque. It's a force also. It is also a force to rotate something. So it is also a vector. Yeah. So um, as I said just now, yeah, as I said just now, uh, has direction. We also use positive negative to show the direction. Uh, if a clock, if anti clockwise. Yeah, anti-clockwise, it is a positive torque. If clockwise, it's negative torque. Understand? Ah, so that's so I can say torque is like a force also, but for rotational motion. Lah. Ah, just this force is for linear motion, but torque is for rotational motion. Understand, class? Ah, good. So, uh, what's more? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, until here, everybody understand? Clear? Clear? Huh? Uh, sorry, I cannot see your hand uh, because I closed the Google Meet window for... Uh, okay. I, uh, now and then, I will, I will have a look at the Google Meet and I can see your thumbs up. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Now, uh, so going back to our work done and talk, uh, one thing I want to talk, I want to say about this. Yeah, there's one thing before I forget. Okay, before I forget. Okay, so uh, okay, this one, this thing, I want to put it here. You know, yes. um, put it here, lah. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about this work done and uh, talk, uh, Unit, I want to say about the unit, uh, unit of work done. Yeah, work, work, unit of work done. What is the unit for work done? Uh, we know it is joule, lah, kan? We know it is joule. Yeah, uh, 
or you can also write it as or you can write it as newton meter correct not because based on the formula based on the formula f s cos theta so f and s so it's newton meter uh, so you can write as joule and uh newton meter so you can use either either one but better you use better you use joule lah. preferred you write joule instead of newton meter understand what is the unit for what is the unit for torque unit of torque uh, what is the unit of torque i just i tell i told you already torque is uh, you just look at the formula it's fr sin theta so it's also newton meter uh, unit of torque is also newton meter so you can see torque uh, has a similar unit with work done newton meter also okay so that's the unit for torque but it is not a work done ah ah it is not a work done although it has a same unit i can say it has same unit as work done but it's torque is not a work done Torque is not a scalar quantity like work done. Torque is like a force. Where is it? Ah, you see that? Torque is like a force, but torque is a force in rotational motion. But it has a unit uh, same like work done. But it's not a work done. Torque is not a work done. Torque is a force for rotational motion. Uh, huh? But oh, the, only the unit is the same like work done newton meter understand ah uh, understand let me see your hand huh? uh, understand ah huh? uh, very good yeah so thank you so um uh, but class you cannot don't ever don't ever write the unit of torque as joule no a big no you talk you can write the unit as newton meter but don't you say torque equal to let's say you calculate the value you got 10 joule wrong ah wrong you can write torque as 10 newton meter yes yes and that's the only unit it can have that's the only unit it can have torque you must write in newton meter you cannot write as 10 joule because people will misunderstood it you misunderstood that uh you you think that torque is as a energy talk as a work done no talk is not the work done talk is a force talk is a force in rotational motion talk is not work done so it cannot have the same unit like work done i mean the joule you cannot only the newton meter is the same but you can say work done as joule but you cannot say talk as joule okay last okay everyone uh, don't don't say talk as a joule ah. don't you ever write talk in unit joule we give wrong uh, you must write the unit of talk as newton meter so better like this better like this for work done you write the unit as joule only but talk you write the unit as newton meter only okay ah. remember that ah. don't ever write talk as joule no joule, joule is only for work done uh, because uh, torque is not a work done, it's a force actually, but for rotational motion. Only the newton meter, they jadi sama. Yeah, only newton meter is sama. Okay. Uh, apa lagi ya? Mm, yeah, I think I cover everything right here. So, uh, you see, positive is anti-clockwise. Uh, this sign salah. Clockwise is negative. Ini salah ni. Typo, typo. Ah, uh, kalau clockwise negative top, ini negative ah, ini yang positif. Ah, uh, anti clockwise positif. Okay, ah, uh, one more thing like this one, you see, why why is top important? Ah, uh, why is top? Apa apa sebenarnya top? Apa sebenarnya top? Ah, uh, remember you uh you know if you have a nut, nut. Ah, uh, can you use your finger to you know? Wow, finger you sangat kuat lah. You, you can open a nut using only your finger. Can you do that? <laughs> can you do that? Is your finger uh, strong enough to unscrew a nut? Is your finger strong enough? No, nobody can do that. 
Uh, some of if it's rusty, yeah, uh, you must, what, what do you need? You need a spana. You need a spana. Why do you need a spana? Uh, because it, co it apply the concept of talk. Understand? It apply the concept of talk. So, talk is, what I say is uh, a force to rotate something. Yeah, a force to make a rotational motion to happen. So, look at the formula again. Talk is F R sine theta. Uh, what is R? R, what is R? R is the distance between, distance between what? Between the axis of rotation, axis of rotation and the force, F. Uh, yeah. So, um, where, where do you hold the spana? Do, do you hold, where do you hold? You hold at the, here at the center or at the end. Which one easier do you think to rotate? You, you rotate, you hold your hand at the center or at the end? Huh? To rotate at easier. Huh? At the end, gun. Kenapa mesti at the end? Ah, because the R. Let me see. Okay. Because of the R. Ah, kalau lagi besar R, kalau, kalau maksudnya, kalau lagi besar R, lagi besar top. Betul tak? Ah, so, uh, we try to, you know, pegang at the end. And you need less force to make a rotation. To make, to, to have a top, to rotate it. Uh, bigger R means bigger top. Uh, why why the spanner must be built long? Why why is not cannot just have a small handle? Why it must be a long handle? Why it must be long? Why you need to waste so much material to build to build a long spanner? Why? Uh, because we need the R, we need the distance as far as possible so that the top is bigger. When the top is bigger, it's easier to rotate the nut, isn't it? Uh, if the R is bigger. We, we don't need a much bigger force. We need a smaller force enough. Uh, we could, even we can use a, only a finger to, oh, to rotate it. Okay? Uh, so what I can say is, the bigger the R, the bigger the top. Uh, just the same concept like, you know, uh, the same concept like our seesaw. Remember the, our seesaw? How to balance the seesaw? Okay, let's say this is the fulcrum here. And okay, I, uh, my baby have to sit. Uh, I play the seesaw with my baby. Uh, I of course sit nearer, nearer to the you know to the axis of rotation. Uh, this is the we, this is what we call the fulcrum. We call it the fulcrum, or we can also say it as the axis of rotation. Ah, uh, so so compared to my baby. Uh, at the far end, isn't it? So to have a balancing top, uh, I have, uh, you know, uh, I have my own weight, you know, my own weight, W1, uh, which is very big weight. Compared to my baby, has a very small weight. I uh, have a very small weight. So, so you can see there is an opposing top, top here. Here I have a top. Uh, this is the axis of rotation. Here, uh, you know, I have a top. Consider here, I have a top anti, um, top anti clockwise. For me, I'm pushing down, so this thing will rotate anti clockwise. So I have a positive top here, anti clockwise, and my baby have a negative top. Uh, so to be equilibrium, to be in equilibrium, uh, these two top must be equal, isn't it? These two top must be equal. So to make the equal, uh, the my I have to adjust my that's why my baby have to sit at the far end. My baby have to sit at the far end. Understand? Uh, this is R two. Uh, compared to my distance, I sit at the near to the axis. Uh, if I have big weight, I must have a small R. Uh, I must have a small R. A small R. If the baby. Uh, small weight, it must have a big R. Then only it can be equilibrium. Understand? Then only you can uh, play the seesaw going up and down, going up and down. If not, if, if I sit at the far end, if I sit at the far end, my baby is forever at the top. 
uh, we cannot we cannot even you know play the seesaw, isn't it? Uh, it's like yeah, because we have you know opposing uh anti-clockwise and a clockwise talk, so it's like you know it's like talk uh talk uh talk two uh talk uh consider this talk one uh yeah minus the talk two uh, this is talk one this is talk two lah uh, minus the because uh clockwise is negative so negative talk so you get zero yeah equilibrium total talk equal to zero understand. Uh, so the top one must be equal to top two. Uh, so it's like, you know, what's the formula again? Fr sine theta, isn't it? Fr, uh, this, for this case, this is Fr sine uh, 90 lah. Uh, sine 90. So it's Fr sine 90. This one also Fr sine 90. Uh, sine 90. So uh, if top one, it will be F1 R1. Uh, top two will be uh f2 r2 uh, so this is what i mean uh, by equilibrium that means uh if i sit uh if me f1 is the uh or we can say it is the w1 uh, w1 r1 equal to w2 r2 uh, mesti dalam equilibrium that means uh i am very heavy i am very heavy I'm very heavy. As I must be near. I must. Uh, my distance must be small. My distance must be small. My baby is very light. My baby is very light. Must be very far away. Ah, uh, barulah dia jadi equilibrium. Barulah boleh. Uh, my baby kadang-kadang boleh naik, kadang-kadang boleh turun, kan? Ah, uh, barulah dia equal. Ah, uh, faham kelas? Faham? Faham benda ni? Uh, okay, uh, so itulah. Uh, this is about you know uh, equilibrium. Total. Uh, this one, uh, I think next class we will talk about equilibrium lah. Uh, so today I just want to talk about torque. You know how to increase the torque again? Uh, even though you're just a baby, you know how do you have a very big torque? Uh, by distance. Uh, the longer the distance, and just need a very small force. Yeah. To have a longer distance, you have a long, big torque. Uh, so torque depend on two factors. lah, depend on force and also depend on distance r. Okay, uh, and that's it lah. And also depend on the theta so lah. Okay, uh, so okay lah. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. Uh, another example is you know the you know, kalau ada satu crate yang sangat berat, kita macam mana angkat dia? Yeah. Uh, kita letak satu itu. My God. So, kita letak satu kayu kan. Letak ataupun satu pole. Uh, satu satu tiang besi kan. Uh, kita letak satu fulcrum kan. Uh, uh, sini 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 pendek tak apa. Tapi yang penting sini panjang kan. Sini panjang. Barulah uh, kita punya force di sini. Uh, baru kita apa? Push. Uh, barulah ini terangkat walaupun berat kan. Uh, kan dia berat. Kan dia berat. Ha, tak apa. Dia berat pun tak apa. Ha? Yang penting kita nak R ini. Macam ini macam seesaw lah. Macam seesaw. Ha? Ha, barulah benda yang berat boleh terangkat. Ha, kal, tapi mesti panjang lah di sini. Supaya ha, pan, kal, lebih besar R. Lebih besar R, lebih besar top. Ha, dia ada top. Okay, ini macam seesaw ni. Okay, so that's it for top. Yeah, for today. So remember, top is a Cross product is a vector, formula ni fr sin theta, use the perpendicular component, unit dia macam work done but it's not work done, it's you newton meter, jangan guna joule, uh, apa lagi kelas, ada, ada direction dia, direction dia dua je, sama ada clockwise and anti-clockwise, kalau anti-clockwise guna positive, clockwise guna negative, um, and, uh, and this is about the meaning of talk lah, formula fr sin theta, okay? So itu saja uh, untuk hari ini lah saya rasa ya. So next class I will go into you know solving question for uh, equilibrium of uniform rigid body about this this one ya. Total force equal to zero, total torque equal to zero. Ah uh, just now I touch a bit about total torque equal to zero about the you know this uh, ini. Ah uh, saya belum explain ni sebenarnya in detail ya. I just touch a little bit. Okay class.
Nah, itu sajalah untuk hari ini. Ada boleh faham tak? Faham tak? Ah, okeylah. Ya, Sherina. Ya. Saya uh, nak ada soalan. Ya, soalan. Soalan Tita itu, Tita dapat dari mana? Macam lah, macam lah tu. <laughs> ya? Yeah? Is it about the Tita? Apa soalan ya? Betul. Is it about the Tita? Uh, you mean this Tita? You mean which Tita? You mean this, where is the Tita? You mean this Tita, is it? Is it this Tita? Um, yeah. So, okay lah. Okay, let's say, okay. Uh, okay, that Tita, actually it's all trigonometry lah. It's all trigonometry. Uh, cuma saya tak explain dengan lebih detail di sini. So, let's say, yeah. Uh, okay, um, this is, let's say this angle is, I put 120 degree lah. Okay, 120 so, this angle should be, uh, what? 60 kan? 180 minus 120. Okay, this is the R. So, this is the axis of rotation. R is from here up to the point of force lah. Uh, so, nak cari top dia macam mana? Senang sekejap kelas. Just use FR sin 120. Understand? Just use FR sin 100. Itu saja. Ah. So, what do you get? Uh, so, uh, ataupun you also can equal to, yeah, uh, okay, maybe you press calculator, side 120, what do you get? Side 120, what do you get? Side 120, what do you get? 0 0.886, gun. Uh, 0 0.866, okay. Now, so it is also equal to, uh, let's say I uh, let's say I use the sixty degree. Let's say I use the sixty degree. So uh, what do you get? Huh? so I put this F cos sixty and this is F sine sixty. Okay, so let's uh, calculate F sine sixty. Yeah, let's calculate F sine sixty. Yeah. Uh, what about sine sixty? What about sine sixty? What do you get for sine sixty? Uh, also the same. So it's the same as FR sine 60. Do you see that class? Uh, this one also. This one also equal to 0 0.866. Uh, so it's either you want to use the 60 degree also can. You want to use 120 also can. Uh, but uh, I normally use a smaller angle. Lah. Easier for me to find the, you know, to, apa? to resolve into component. To resolve the force into two component because to find torque we normally only want the perpendicular component to multiply with the r uh, we just need to find these two to multiply we then we can get the torque already uh, or if you want to use fr sine 120 also can you get the same answer also understand uh, this uh, remember this theta the theta here where is it? Ah, uh, the theta here, the theta here is the angle between F and R. Angle between F and R. So which is the uh where is it? Ah, uh? uh, so uh like here lah. Uh, actually the theta is actually the theta is 120 lah. Theta is 120. But you can also use uh, 60 degree or so. You get the same answer. Yeah? The, Theta is angle between F and R. So actually it's FR sine 120. But I don't I don't like to use the big angle. So I use the small angle lah. Uh, you get the same answer also. Okay, so theta is angle between F and R. So do I explain your answer? Yeah? Or oh, oh, yang sine 90 ga? Oh you talk about the sine 90. Okay, sine 90 means uh where did I write the sine 90? Yeah? Did I write sine 90 anywhere? Oh, here, this one, sine 90. Yeah, of course, because, yeah. Uh, why is it 90 degree? You, you look at uh, this one. This weight and the R. Is it 90 degree between them? Is it 90 degree? Uh, 90 degree between the weight and the R? Eh? 
how do I? Uh, uh, okay, so is it 90 degree here? Uh, 90 degree. So the for, the angle between the force and the R is also 90 degree. That's why sine 90. Uh, so here also, between the weight and the R also 90 degree. Uh, so sine 90 lah. Understand? Uh, yeah. So it's uh, between, you know, between, let's say you have the axis uh, here and then the weight here, uh, so this is the R, uh, so it's 90 degree, yeah? The, the, between the weight and the, the weight is the force lah, weight is the force. Uh, so, and theta is angle between, what? Theta is angle between the force, the weight, and, I mean the force and the R. So, uh, the weight is perpendicular downward, the R is horizontal, so it's 90 degree lah. That's why sine 90, understand? Okay, uh, I think you understand now. Uh? Uh, so that's why sign 90. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh? Thank you. Uh? Hmm. So nanti boleh tanya lagi lah. Ya? Kita nanti boleh tanya lagi antes apa bersolan. Ya? Okay, so until here. Okay, good night. Bye. So see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, boleh off sudah lah. <laughs>